This is Gray Fox. And I'm Vixen. Hi. Um, this video is our initial nutrition video. Um, well, nutrition, workout, fitness. Uh, as we're getting in shape to do our um, more of our outdoors, our hiking, camping, um, things like that that we want to show you. We want to make sure that we're in good enough shape to keep us um, injury free as much as possible. Right. So step one is definitely getting our nutrition um, on the right path mm -hmm. and getting into shape so that um, we'll be injury free and interesting for you guys to watch us. Right. Nobody <laughs> wants injuries, that's for sure. No. Well, so, it's fun to watch. Yeah. <laughs> so we were both at one time in really good shape and then we got lazy and uh, fell out of it. Um, to the point where it's almost ridiculous. So uh, we do know how to get in shape. We do know what to do to get there. Uh, right. We've been at this now. We came up with this uh, plan, essentially, about six weeks ago. And um, in that six weeks, while we were kind of prepping and, and trying things out, she's already down um, 10 pounds and I'm down 26. 26, 28? 26. So, I, and I'm down 26 so far. Um, so I started at 324 and I'm at 298. Yep. Yeah. So, and eventually, uh, as you see in the next three months, I'll probably be down to closer to realistically maybe 260, somewhere around there. It goes fast for us as long as you have your diet on point and everything else. Right. So, and it always goes slower for women than it does for men. That's always, just, it's that's always been that way with us. Always. Um, not only do women usually have less weight to lose, but also because we have um, less muscle mass than men do, mm -hmm. it makes it more challenging for us to lose that fat, to gain muscle and lose weight. That's just the way it goes, and especially for women like myself, <laughs> who are a little bit older <laughs> um, we battle some health issues as well like um, slower thyroids or slower metabolisms things like that um, that slow down the pace as well um, having said that you know if I end up losing 30 pounds in the next three months that would be a, a pretty good accomplishment yeah, that'd be awesome me. that'd be great um, we're doing something a little bit different this time around. Uh, we're doing everything from home. Um, just to prove that anybody can do it from home with limited resources, um, some right. dumbbells and you know just a few little things that are simple um, that yeah. anybody can use. You don't need a gym membership to get mm -hmm. in shape. Mm -hmm. You just need some good resources, um, perhaps some dumbbells, we like the Bowflex adjustable weights for yeah, that. Yeah, the Select Tech uh, Bowflex weights, uh, dumbbells, those are fantastic. Right. I wish I had the heavier ones, but I don't, so I make do with what I have, which is the, the lighter ones. I think they only go up to 52.5. .5. Yeah, which is very light um, for me for certain things and heavy enough for other things, but I make it do uh, just by changing up how I lift. Uh, and we'll explain all that later. Um, but we kind of want to go over what we're doing. Whether that's going to work for you or not is uh, a question for yourself. You can try it. You can try anything we're doing, really, and see if it works for you. Doing anything is better than doing nothing. That is a fact. Um, right. Just moving is going in to, a, in a better direction than uh, where you're at currently is going to benefit you no matter what you do. Right, and certain things we do might work for you um, better than other things. Mm -hmm. So keep in mind that we're not starting at, you know, the lowest level of beginner. We're starting at low intermediate, basically, yeah. because we've done this before. Um, we were in excellent shape just a couple years ago, mm -hmm. and so we're not starting at, you know, rock bottom. Right, um, and. Not that I really want to get into all the scientific stuff like or anything like that, but I'm what they call an endomorph 
I, uh, I tend to carry more body weight. It's easy for me to, to gain um, fat. Uh, not that I would want to be super thin because in a uh, SHTF situation or anything like that, you're going to need that stored energy. But I do want to be in good enough shape where I feel comfortable moving, running, doing what I have to do. Um, but yeah, so in going with that, what we do, and a lot of this information you can find on a lot of different websites. My favorite personal site is bodybuilding.com. Uh, I love bodybuilding.com. Uh, supplements and stuff like that we'll get into in a month when we get into that series of videos. Um, but our supplements, you can find them. Usually, sometimes you can find a good deal at bodybuilding.com. Yeah. But Amazon um, yeah. is by far <laughs> the best place to go. Amazon is has the cheapest. Uh, if you're getting protein and you subscribe, you save another 5%. But anyway, so when we get into supplementation, we'll tell you where to buy. We'll do links. We'll do stuff like that so you have it. Um, diet. Uh, we'll go over what we do for diet right now. Um, diet is 80% of any weight loss or fitness program. Right. So, do um, you want to cover what we eat? Yes. So, again, keep in mind that we're starting from intermediate, not from beginner. So, the way we work our diet, it's not really a diet, it's a lifestyle really, is going to be different than, say, somebody from the beginning. Um, what we find works best for us is we get the majority of our calories strictly from our protein. And then for carbohydrates, we, for the most part, stick to just vegetables. We eat a lot of vegetables. Um, we're both pretty choosy eaters as it is. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of vegetables that we don't eat because we don't like vegetables either. <laughs> just being honest. But um, the majority of our carbohydrates do come from vegetables that we do tolerate and we do eat, mm -hmm. if not actually kind of like a little bit sometimes. Mm -hmm. But protein is really um, the basis for our diet. Mm -hmm. We plan all our meals around what our protein for that meal is. So like chicken and fish, um, that's the bulk of our diet really. Yeah. We eat chicken for lunch every day, we eat fish for dinner every night, we yeah. have eggs for breakfast in the morning, right. and then on the weekends we'll have red meat, like we'll have um, a burger for our cheat meal. We allow ourselves one cheat meal a week, yeah. and we do it's have called a steak. sanity meal more than anything else. Okay, maybe a sanity meal. Right. <laughs> Yeah, so we wake up, we have a cup of coffee with our eggs, um, and then I uh, drink a protein shake once I get to work, and then... Couple, On my way to work. Yeah, and then about a couple hours later I'll have fruit, then a couple hours later I'll have chicken and vegetables, mm -hmm. and then what, and then a couple hours later sometimes I'll do another protein shake. Yeah. Um, and then for dinner, we'll do um, fish, fish and, and vegetables. Vegetables, um, vegetables uh, we try to do a lot of like green beans and carrots. Uh, once in a while, we'll do corn. I know corn's not the best for you, but it's it, it's okay. It's, I mean, it's better than potatoes right. or we any white starch. Yeah, peas. Yeah, and we do different types Wax of beans. beans, stuff like that. Yeah, yep. um, and we do some black beans and, mm -hmm. and whatnot, but. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much our diet. That we pre-cook all of our meals a week in advance. We, I do it on Sunday. I'll cook everything and we'll pre-package it for the week so that it's ready to rock and roll. It's so much easier that way and it's yeah. easier not to stray if you're not looking for food. Right, you, especially when you're coming home from you know a long day of work and, and you're hungry and you know you still have to work out also. Mm -hmm. It's really great to have that meal you know, pretty much ready to just heat up and, and go. So rather than, you know, driving by that fast food place and hitting the drive through or, yeah. or We don't eat um, any fast food at all. No. None. Um, when we do a, a cheat meal on Saturday, sometimes we do it for lunch, sometimes for dinner, usually, usually for, for lunch, lunch. Um, we'll go to like, uh, like an Applebee's or an Outback or a, what was that new place we just tried on the corner up there. Um, Whataburger? No. Smashburger. 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 Yeah. 
we'll do different things like that. A um, little bit higher end than fast food. Like you get a real substantial um, burger. Right. And uh, a lot of times we'll do sweet potato fries, but you could do regular fries. It doesn't matter. Like she was saying, we've done this before, so we're disciplined enough to be able to handle um, living that way, eating the same thing every day, Monday through Friday. On the weekends, I change it up a little bit, but still nutritiously, except for our cheat meal, of course. Right. Um, and even on the weekends, when we change it up a little bit, that means we cook our eggs a different way, maybe add sausage. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Maybe even like a sourdough English muffin half. Mm -hmm. um, that's yeah that's pretty much it and then um, we do have that one Saturday meal which is usually a burger and yeah. fries of some sort we try to stick with sweet potato fries whenever that's an option um, but not necessarily if that's not an option that's okay too mm -hmm. and we like sushi too so mm -hmm. we do get some carbs from the sushi <laughs> yeah so our our current workouts I and mean, that's pretty much our diet um, yeah. You know, our... Oh, steaks for Sundays. Oh, we always have steak on Sunday night. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, but anyways, as far as our workouts go, um, they're a little bit different. Uh, I, I need the cardio to, um, to, to, for me to lose fat substantially and not just turn fat into muscle. If I just turn fat into muscle, it's called body composition. If I do that, then I'm always going to stay heavy. I'm not going to be able to drop any weight. And that's, for me, that's not good to have be holding that much weight. So I have to do cardio. Uh, what I do for cardio is called HIIT training, which stands for high intensity interval training. And that's just, it's stages. You go slow, medium, all out. Slow, medium, all out you know, a minute, a minute, a minute, a minute, a minute, a minute. And then you just keep repeating that until you can't do it basically anymore. Uh, usually for me, it lasts about a half hour. But doing that for a half hour is better than walking for four hours. Uh, you actually burn more calories and maintain more muscle um, doing HIT than you will doing any solid state cardio. So for example, just to, to give you something that you can see, uh, if you watch the Olympics, watch your long distance runners, your, you know, your guys that are running for marathons and think about what they look like. The, you know, the guys that win that are always Ethiopians, super skinny, super frail, nothing to them, super light. Okay? They don't really maintain any body mass as far as muscle goes because that muscle gets burned while they're doing that solid state running. Whereas with a sprinter, uh, look at some of the sprinters, uh, Michael Johnson, I think was one and stuff like that. Um, but they're all muscular. Um, they're all slender, but muscular, uh, because sprinting, you don't burn that muscle. You're burning, uh, fat and immediate energy. Whereas long distance running, you're actually burning muscle. So it's better for you to do shorter periods of high intensity work than it is for you to do long periods of lower intensity work if that makes sense to you um, but that's if you have questions let me know if not like I said all this information is on bodybuilding.com there's a million articles on it uh, one of the guys that I really love is Dr. Jim Stepani he knows his, his stuff really well yeah he does uh, real smart guy um, Tom Fuller another guy that I owe a lot to uh, real good mentor to me you'll find some articles from him on there he does this thing called Hellraiser training which is insane I did that for months and that did really well in that competition yeah but anyways so for right now what i do is i do monday wednesday friday i do hit training um tuesday and thursday i do um weights tuesday i do uh bicep and back thursday i do um triceps and chest and then i'm saving legs for on the weekend um I have been doing legs so much lately because this is our initial period. This is our first month starting basically now of the actual training portion. So I will throw legs in from here on out, but I haven't been doing them. But now I'm saving. Now legs will be on Sunday. Don't skip leg day. Legs are such a big muscle and you'll help you burn so much fat. So you have to do legs. But what's your workout? So I do hit training as well. Um, for me, it's really crucial because my weight goes nowhere 
without doing that HIIT training. Um, so I do it Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. And on Wednesdays is my lift day, and I'll alternate what I do um, depending on how I'm feeling, depending on you know how sore I am for any other from any other activities that I've done. Yeah. Um, I don't do a lot of leg day either, and um, honestly, a lot of it is because I wear heels at work all day, and my job is actually really very active, surprisingly so. And I end up doing a lot of stuff that looks a lot like squatting <laughs> and lunging yeah. in my heels. <laughs> she still needs to do leg day. I do still need to do leg um, day. Yeah. But a lot of times by Friday, my legs are really pretty sore already. Yeah. Yeah. But we still need, you still need to add in a leg day though. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> Even if you're going to be sore. I know. I hate the feeling after leg day too, but it needs to be done. Um, you're gonna be sore. There, there's no way around it. If if you're doing it right, you're gonna be sore. If you're not sore, you're not doing it right. Um, you should definitely have some lactic acid build up. You should definitely, you know, feel it the next day or the day after that. Um, so yeah, you're gonna be sore. But anything that's, you know, worth doing is gonna be hard. That's just how it is. And as crazy as it sounds, sometimes that sore feeling actually feels pretty good. Yeah, it, you it know, makes you, you feel you like you've something. accomplished something. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it, it's kind of fun sometimes. Now there is such a thing as a little too sore and you shouldn't yeah. be lifting, especially that muscle group after that, but mm -hmm. a little bit of sore is really a good thing. Yeah, no, for sure. Definitely. Um, so that's the basics for us, I guess. You know, I mean, this is kind of an ad lib video just to kind of give you a, a rough estimate of what we're doing. This is just an intro. We'll get more detailed and more... Um, ad lib, as if we script anything at all. No, we don't. And you'll notice we don't edit either. We really don't. Because I'm trying to present to you me. And, you know, and Vixen is presenting herself. So we're real people guys so we want you to understand that we're real people doing real things and anything that we can accomplish you can definitely accomplish so you know there's there's no doubt in my mind that anybody out there can absolutely follow in our in our footsteps and do as good if not better than what we're doing right we're just showing you what we're doing and we're bringing you along on the journey does that make sense Absolutely. That is, Absolutely. That is who we are. Yes, it's actually who we are. So, <laughs> anyways. All right, so enough um, jibber-jabber. I think we're done. Don't you think? Yeah. Anything else so. you'd like to add? Well, going back to the cheat meal real quick, it mm -hmm. is kind of important to have mm -hmm. one and only one cheat meal. And I do stress just a meal, not a whole day of cheating. Yeah. Because it kind of breaks up the monotony a little bit and it kind of makes you feel like you've earned it, you know? Yeah, and once you really start losing and seeing those results... Your cheats are not going to be quite as bad anymore. No, they're not going to be as bad. And when you eat them, you're just going to feel horrible. Mm -hmm. you, you are. You're going to feel horrible. It's going to taste good, don't get me wrong. But you'll have, like, if you're having actual french fries, you'll have, like, a handful of them and then the salt will start coursing through your veins and you'll be starting to feel oh this sucks and you'll Not actually gonna, feel the you, arteries yeah <laughs> you will <laughs> it's a horrible feeling but that's when you know you've gotten to that point right you know that point where a food that you could normally tear up now tastes horrible to you because it doesn't your body doesn't feel like like it's accepting it because it just doesn't feel good um, I mean, we've gotten to the point now where we even crave salad sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. Who'd have thought, crave a salad? Oh, they're pretty good sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, all right, with no further ado, I have no idea how long this is going to be. Like 19 minutes so far? I think that's plenty. I think they've listened to us ramble long enough, don't you think? I think so. All right. Well, like I said, guys, if you have any questions, um, any comments, if you'd like to know more details, if you'd like to hear anything else, let us know. Like I was saying, we're going to do this into three segments, okay? So we have this initial segment, which we'll do a diary for you. 
Um, once a week we'll do a diary, um, not this Sunday, but the following Sunday will be the first one, where we'll do a diary for you where we kind of talk about what we did this week and kind of where we're at. Um, and then uh, the next four weeks will be uh, more of an intermediate, um, you know, uh, getting more into it, a little bit more defined on the diet, a little bit more defined on the workout, just ramping things up a little bit. And then the last four weeks will be um, bats out of hell, more or less, just kind of giving it all we got. Um, train like a beast. Train like a beast. That's what her shirt says. Mine says <laughs> Corona. So, so you can see where you know we're on Not the exactly same on the same page. waves yeah <laughs> but anyway so yeah um so that that is the plan if you have any questions uh, any comments let us know uh, like share subscribe um peace see ya <laughs>